Yo, what's good, guys? Today's video, Magical Musketeers. This deck is so, so, so good and so consistent. I built it in a way that is extremely, extremely consistent that you could utilize it any single turn and really just win any turn, going first or going second. But it does utilize Magic Musketeer Max. So the second Max comes out, this deck is easily a tier 1.5 and can compete with any tier 1 deck, no problem. Shout out to my stream. We're doing this live right now. And so we did get a donation to build this deck. So shout out to you. Uh, if you guys do want me to bring any deck that you guys want, any deck that you love, whether it be Ice Barriers, whether it be Pendulum, it don't matter, let me know in the comments, and also, feel free to donate $20, and I'll bring any deck you guys want, uh, for $20, I'll bring any deck uh, that you want, live on stream, I make a YouTube video out of it. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and we're going to get started. This video is super fun to make, so I cannot wait to get started on it. Let's go. We're going to go straight into the deck profile, just so you guys get an idea of the deck, okay? So, now... Uh, normally you play like 12 Magical Musketeers. You play 3 Starfire in a normal version. 3 Starfire, 3 Casper, uh, 2 Doc, and, or 3 Doc, and 3 uh, Kid Brave. I don't like 3 Doc, 3 Kid Brave. I think they're obviously subpar. So we play 2 of each of those. Now, we play lots of power spells in this deck. With the release of Extravagance, you can freely play this in this deck. Even though you play Kid Brave, Desires, and Upstart, it's totally fine. A lot of scrubs are going to look at it and say, Oh my god, you play Extravagance and Upstart. How are you so stupid? It doesn't matter. This is a Magic and Musketeer deck where you need to see these power spells. I don't care. If I drew Upstart, Desires, and Extravagance, you're using Upstart and Desires and saving, saving Extravagance for the next turn. Simply because next turn you also want to get a plus one from your, your Magic and Musketeer cards. Uh, it's just how it is built. You might also look at it and say, oh, there's an influx of hand traps. Why so many? Well, the beauty of it is that you go both, go, it could go both first or it could go second. It, the oh, Magical Musketeer Max does really just blows up this deck. So what it does, uh, it, it's actually absolutely amazing. So uh, you link it. When this card is linked summoned, you link it just with one Magic Musketeer card. And when it's link summoned, uh, it's actually so broken. Holy shit. So... Add Magical Musket Spell Size Traps. Uh, you can pick one of these. Either add Magical Musket Spell Size Traps with different names from your deck to up to the number of monsters your opponent controls or special Magical Musket Monsters up to the number of spell traps your opponent controls. So if your opponent has four spells and traps and you have, let's say, for example, uh, the uh, Last Stand in your hand, okay? So they have four spells and traps, okay? It's like you're facing Striker, they got three Widows. Doesn't matter, whatever it may be. So you're going to go Max Effect to add four... So they have four spells and traps, which means you could special four magical muskets from your deck. He's gonna activate Widow, you negate it with the counter trap, and then you add, you special summon four magical muskets. Yeah, you special four magical musket monsters from your deck. This card's absolutely busted. It, it's absolutely insane. It's like electron level powerful. It is absolutely crazy. If your opponent has four monsters on board, and let's say for example, one of them can negate it, right? So you're gonna you also have a cross domination in hand. So you go max, uh, Max effect to add four magic and musket spells and traps to your hand. They'll negate it, and you negate their card with cross domination, and then you add four spells and traps to your hand. Like, it's actually crazy. So you could legitimately go second with this deck, and sometimes you do want to go second with this deck. But again, the hand traps ensure going first or second, it's broken. Now we're going to go more in-depth in it. For those who don't know, Starfire, whenever you activate a spell trap in its column, you can special any single magic and musketeer um, monster from your deck in defense. You can special like Casper. What Casper does is when it's a card you use in his column, you add a Magic Monster to your spell size trap. You don't want to play triple of any of them. You just want to play double of each to make sure you don't desire them. Because you also play Magic Monster to your dock. You go into Casper first to get the spells and traps you need. And then after you get uh, a Last Stand, a Desperado, and a Cross Domination going through your uh, graveyard, dock adds them back. So you don't need to play more than three of any of them. Simply because you don't want to really hard draw any of these. You want to maybe like hard draw one of them and you want to search the rest so you don't need to draw too many of them and you play two kid brave because it's like what it does is there's lots of free pluses especially when you draw too many influx of magic musket monsters uh you just discard a monster or spells to trap and draw two uh when a card is on his column uh and then two of each of these hand traps you don't want to play three of any hand trap especially if they're hard ones per turn uh or if they're a crow like crow is only uh, is, is amazing for lots of matchups but it's not that good for some so, you don't want to draw three of any of them. None of them are absolutely busted. Even Phantasmus is not, not absolutely busted. Uh, they're all just good hand traps to have. So, you don't want to have three in case one of them is ever dead. Or if you can only use two of them in the turn. Again, I'm going to do a little shout out to my live stream right now. Shout out to all you guys. Thank you for watching live. And, on to the spells now. 
Kind of the brethren, best card in this deck. Uh, you don't play a level 4 uh, ones because you get access to Starfire. Starfire brings out any level 3s, and then Brethren brings out the other 3s. Uh, in terms of the draw cards, one upstart triple desire, three extravagance. And again, I know the noobs are going to look at this. Just because you play extra, like Alter Guys play triple extravagance, triple desires, or triple extravagance, two desires, whatever it may be. But uh, these cards are so incredibly busted with Magical Musketeers because it triggers their effects. And there's no power spell you can play. Two table contents is a neg one. Why would you want a neg one when you just draw two, right? You don't need to activate all these in the same turn. It's not like you're doing lots of combos, you know what I mean? You're not doing lots of combos on your first turn. It's a clean, fresh, uh, very consistent deck. Uh, well, let's say you draw Extravagance and Desires, okay? Let's say you draw Extravagance and Upstart. You Extravagance, draw two, save the Upstart for next turn. You don't need to draw cards. You don't need to draw cards at all. You'd rather just play these power cards. Like, Desires, Extravagance, and Ties of the Brethren, draw one of these nine, it's almost like an auto-win. Draw one of these nine with one of these six, it's almost an auto-win. I'm not even joking. It's it just so damn powerful uh, to draw one of these nine or these one of these six. Even if you draw a conjunction with a Kid Brave, you just... It's, there's so many great starters in this deck, and going second is also necessary. You want to save these power spells for every turn in the, in the game. This, uh, I, the way Magic Muskets are, you're not winning your turn one. You're not winning your turn two. You're not winning your turn three. You're going to win your turn four, turn five, or turn six. And the longer the duel goes, the better this deck gets. Like, it just, uh, it, like it's, uh, the grind game's even better than, than, solid, uh, than solid Boys and, uh, and Strikers, to be honest. The second the deck gets rolling, this deck's busted. So you don't want to utilize all these draw cards in your turn one. You only want to utilize one of them anyways. If you drew Desires and Upstart, I'm only using one of them. You're using it anyways. So Extravagance, a part where you, can only, you can't only draw cards after it, is irrelevant. Because you're going to Desires first. I wouldn't even use Desires and Upstart on the same turn. You want to save them all. You want to save them for the next turn. If you open Casper, you Upstart. Let's say Upstart goes into Desires. I'm not using Desires. No. No chance. If you desires into an upstart, you don't use the upstart. You want to save it for the following turn on Casper and Starfire again. You don't need to use two of these seven on the first turn. In fact, you should not use it. I'm going to repeat that again because I know a lot of you noobs are going to look at Oh my god, you're trying to get some draw cards. Save them. Save them. You're playing Magical Musketeers. It's a different type of deck. And Triple Tons of Brothers. So all these ten to me are power cards. Next, you play two of each of the Magical Musket spell slash traps. Two Steady Hands, two Domination, two Desperado... And two last stand. You play two steady hands because you can activate it to trigger all the magic musket monsters. Uh, that's why you play two of it. And because you play desires, that's also why you play two steady hands, two domination, two desperate, two of any of them. And two do dock, two uh, kid brave. If you didn't play desires, I'll play one of each of these. If I didn't play desires, I'm playing maybe one hands, one domination, maybe two, uh, two domination, one desperado, two stand. But you're playing Desires. You don't want to banish any of these. Sometimes they're all necessary. And if you play Desires, typically you're not going to banish both. You know what I mean? It's like uh, banishing double gate zero. It's like it just doesn't happen. Uh, you could draw one, but it's fine. If you draw one of these, it problem solved. So two is correct. You don't have to play three of anything unless it's broken. So, and then uh, and permanence as well. Because like your 12 hand traps. 12 hand traps is more than enough. We didn't put build a side deck in here. Because you could, side deck, you can build anything you want, to be honest. And side deck, I'll probably put one of each of the, like... Like Twin Twister and stuff like that. You can build anything you want in the side deck. Uh, we don't play the Magical Musket that's a Continuous Trap. So I think cards like that overall just suck. It's kind of like playing uh, the level 6 Draco, uh, Drake or whatever it's called, and True Draco. It does nothing. They do nothing, bro. Like, they actually do nothing. Like, they actually do nothing. Uh, they're actually garbage. They're actually garbage. Uh, Dancing Needle is also garbage. Uh, I know it's a target up to three cards in the graveyard, banish them. It seems good. Maybe you can sell a it's okay. So I would side this against Salamangri. I'll play one of this against Salamangri. But it's honestly not that good. It is honestly not that good. Uh, it's just not that good. It's not that good. I'll, I'll be honest. It's just not that good. I guess you could play one of these instead of uh, Steady Hands. But I just personally find Steady Hands better than Dancing Needle. But you could play a Dancing Needle if you want. That's another card you can do. You can play a Dancing Needle instead of uh, one of these. You can play 1-1. One, one. And I uh, kind of still utilize it, but uh, I just personally don't find that I ever go into it ever. Uh, it's just not good. A lot of times, too many times, it's dead. Too many times for me, it's dead. So if anything, you could just play one dancing needle. Most of the times, you'd rather you're searching these spells or traps. Uh, cross nomination, 
just dust Barado or Lastan is just infinitely better in so many different situations. So if anything, I would side this for Salad Boys, and that's it. Uh, and I would not play Phoenix Deal. It is garbage. For some reason, a lot of Magical Musket players still do it. And a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, Magical Musketeers don't play lists like this. Magical Musketeers don't usually win. They don't usually top. This is the best list right now. And this list, when the second Max comes out, even without Max, uh, can legitimately top a YCS, no problem. On to the extra deck, triple Max. You're playing Extravagance. You want to play doubles or triple of all the cards you need. So triple Max is the only card that's important in the deck. Double of each Nightmare, because uh, there's a cool combo here. So going first, you toss the brother, right? Uh, now going second... Uh, you're going to have three monsters on board, plus a Magic Musket to Normal Summon. Uh, so you go max with one of them, plus three, plus two, whatever it might be. Nightmare with the other two, drawing a card as well, because max goes downwards. And this is max is a fiend. You go max and Cerberus into Summon Sorceress. Also, I play doubles of all these, because it's kind of necessary. And then Summon Sword target either the level three or level four that you add, or special, off max. And then, because you could special a shit ton off max. And then... Summon sword, then you bring a Gaga Samurai for an OTK, or Break Sword for an OTK, or a Bowl Sword for an OTK. So it kind of helps out for an OTK because the deck has lots of trouble putting damage on board. But having this little combo of Summon Sword and the Nightmares and Max being a fiend is super cool and uh, lets you really OTK very, very easily. So that's the deck profile. I was going to show you guys some replays, but I do enjoy playing this deck a lot. So I might just show it in a different video. Or if someone requests Magic Muscles again, I will do a different video on it on duels, like five, six, seven replays in a row or something. But this deck's imp incredibly fun to play and is incredibly good. Do test out if you like this deck with Extravagant Desire Upstart. You just want to play as many as possible to make sure you draw into your good cards. Doc, Kid, and Brave don't win you the game. Casper and uh, Starfire do. So you want to make sure you max out all of them. That's the deck, guys. It's honestly really, really good. I love playing this deck. And the only thing I would change is honestly one Dance Needle for one uh, Study Hands. But I just enjoy how it is right now. It's just it is beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's the deck profile. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And if you guys want me to bring any deck of your choice, let me know in the comments. I do take $20 deck request, and I'll bring any deck of your choice or a $20 donation to my PayPal. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.